Al Adab al Mufrid, the Book of Greetings, chapter on tidings to certain companions. Abu Musa said, He was with the Prophet, peace be upon him, in one of the gardens of Medina. The Prophet, peace be upon him, had a twig in his hand with which he was striking the water and the mud. A man came asking for the garden to be open to him, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Open it for him and give him the good news of the garden. I went and it was Abu Bakr. May Allah be pleased with him. I opened the door for him and gave him the good news of the garden. Then another man asked to be let in and the Prophet said, Open the door and give him the good news of the garden. It was Umar. May Allah be pleased with him. And I let him in and gave him the good news of the garden. Then another man asked to be let in and the Prophet was reclining and then sat up. He said, Open it for him and give him the good news of the garden along with an affliction that will befall him in this world or that will happen. I went and it was Uthman. May Allah be pleased with him. I opened the door for him and told him what the Prophet had said. He said, Allah is the one who is asked for help. Chapter on Shaking Hands with Children Salama bin Wardan said, I saw Anas bin Malik shake hands with some people and he asked me, Who are you? I said, The Mola of the Banu Laith. He stroked my head three times and said, May Allah bless you. Chapter on Shaking Hands Anas bin Malik said when the people of Yemen came, the Prophet peace be upon him said, The people of Yemen have come and they have more courteous hearts than you. They are the first who introduced the handshake. Abdullah bin Yazid said, Al-Bara bin Azib said, Part of the full greeting is to shake your brother's hand. Chapter on A Woman Stroking a Child's Head Marzuk at takafi said, Abdullah bin Az-Zubair sent me to his mother, Asma bin Abu Bakr, and he told her how Hajjaj was treating them. She prayed for me and stroked my head. I was a young boy at that time. Chapter on Embracing Jabir bin Abdullah said, A hadith reached me on the authority of a companion of the Prophet peace be upon him, so I purchased a camel and rode it for a month until I reached Syria. Abdullah bin Onas was there. I sent word to him saying, Jabir is at the door. The messenger returned and said, Jabir bin Abdullah? I said, yes. So Abdullah came out and embraced me. I said, a hadith reached me which I myself did not hear from the Prophet and I feared that one of us would die. He, Abdullah bin Unas, said, I heard the Prophet, peace be upon him, say, Allah will gather his slaves or people, naked, uncircumcised, without anything. We asked, what is meant by without anything? The Prophet said, they will have nothing with them of worldly goods. The Prophet went on, he will call them with a voice that is heard from afar, and I think that he said, as if it was heard somewhere nearby, saying, I am the king. No one of the people of the garden will enter the garden while any one of the people of the fire is seeking him for some injustice he did to him. No one of the people of the fire will enter the fire while any one of the people of the garden is seeking him for an injustice he did to him. I asked, how can this be? We come to Allah naked and without any worldly goods. He, Abdullah bin Unas, said, either with good actions or with evil actions. Footnote, the oppressor would lose his good deeds which would be credited to the oppressed. If he has no good deeds, the bad deeds of the oppressed would be transferred to him. Chapter on A Man Kissing His Daughter Aisha, the Umm al-Mu'mineen, said, I did not see anyone who more resembled in speech the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, than Fatima. When she came to him, he stood up for her and welcomed her and kissed her and made her sit down in his place. When the Prophet came to her, she stood up for him and took his hand and made him welcome and kissed him and made him sit in her place. She came to him during his final illness and he greeted her and kissed her. Chapter on Kissing the Hand Ibn Umar said, We were in a battlefield and some people retreated from the front. We said, How can we face the Prophet, peace be upon him, when we have run away? Then it was revealed, unless withdrawing to fight again or removing to join another host. Quran, Surah Al-Anfal, Chapter 8, Verse 16 We said, We will not advance to Medina, and then no one will see us. Then we said, Perhaps we should go. The Prophet, peace be upon him, came from the Fajr prayer, and we said, We are those who fled. He said, But you are those who return to the fighting. We kissed his hand. He said, I am your host, whom you joined. Footnote, referring to the ayah of the Quran, O believers, when you encounter the unbelievers marching to battle, turn not your back to them. 
whoso turns his back that day to them, unless withdrawing to fight again or removing to join another host, he is laden with that burden of God's anger and his refuge is Jahannah, an evil homecoming. Quran, Surah Al-Anfal, Chapter 8, Verse 16 Abdurrahman bin Razin said, We passed by Ar-Rabda and were told, There is Salama bin Al-Aqwa. We went to him and greeted him. Then he held out his hands and said, With these two hands I offered allegiance to the Prophet of Allah, peace be upon him. He held out his palm, as massive as the palm of a camel, and we rose and kissed it. Thabit said to Anas, Did you touch the Prophet, peace be upon him, with your hand? He said, Yes. So he, Thabit, kissed it. Chapter on Kissing the Foot al wazi bin Amir said, We came and it was said, That is the Messenger of Allah. We took his hands and feet and kissed them. Suhaib said, I saw Ali kiss the hands and feet of Al-Abbas, his uncle. Chapter on A Man Rising Out of Respect for Another Man Abu Mijla said, Muawiyah came out while Abdullah bin Amir and Abdullah bin Az-Zubair were seated. Ibn Amir got up and Ibn Az-Zubair remained seated and he was the wiser of the two. Muawiyah said, The Prophet peace be upon him said, Whoever likes to have the slaves of Allah stand up out of respect for him will take his place in the fire. Chapter on Giving the Greeting First Abu Huraira said, The Prophet peace be upon him said, Allah created Adam peace be upon him and his height was sixty spans. He said, Go and greet those, a group of the angels who were seated, and listen to how they answer you. It is your greeting and the greeting of your descendants. He said, Peace be upon you. They said, Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah. They added, And the mercy of Allah. All who enter the garden will have his form, but creation has continued to decline until now in height. Chapter on to disseminate the greeting. Al-Bara said, The Prophet peace be upon him said, Spread the greeting and you will be safe. Abu Huraira said, The Prophet peace be upon him said, You will not enter the garden until you believe, and you will not believe until you love one another. Shall I show you something that will make you love one another? They said, Yes, Messenger of Allah. The Prophet said, Spread the greeting among yourselves. Abdullah bin Amr said, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, Worship the merciful and feed the people. Spread the greeting among yourselves and you will enter the garden. Chapter on One Who Gives the Greeting First Bashir bin Yasar said no one preceded or got ahead of Ibn Umar when giving the greeting. Jabir said the rider greets the person on foot and the person on foot greets the person sitting down. When there are two people walking, the better of them is the one who gives the greeting first. Ibn Umar said al aghar a man from Muzana who was a companion of the Prophet peace be upon him was owed some wasak, measurement of dates by a man from the Banu Amr bin Auf and came to him many times. He, al aghar said, I went to the Prophet peace be upon him asking help to have the dates returned and he sent Abu Bakr as siddiq with me. He went on, everyone we met greeted us. Abu Bakr said, don't you see that when people initiate the greeting they have the reward? Initiate the greeting and you will have the reward. Ibn Umar narrated this to express his own manner. Abu Ayyub said, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, It is not lawful for a Muslim to separate himself from his brother for more than three days in such a way that when they meet, each one turns away from the other. The better of them is the one who gives the greeting first. Chapter on the Virtue of the Greeting Abu Huraira said, A man passed by the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him while he was in an assembly and said, Peace be upon you. The Prophet said, Ten good deeds. Another man passed by and said, Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah. The Prophet said, Twenty good deeds. Then another man passed by and said, Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and his blessing. The Prophet said, Thirty good deeds. Then a man in the assembly got up to leave and did not give the greeting. The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, How quickly your companion forgets. When one of you comes to an assembly, he should give the greeting. If he desires to sit down, he sits down. When he stands up to leave, he gives the greeting. Neither is a more meritorious duty than the other. Omar said, I was riding behind Abu Bakr and he passed some people. He said, Peace be upon you. They responded, And peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah. He said, And peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah. They responded, Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and His blessings. Abu Bakr said, Today the people have excelled us in additional rewards.
Muhammad bin Bashar narrated to us and said, Yahya bin Said narrated to us and said, Shoba narrated to us and said, Abdul Malik narrated to me from Zad and said, Omar narrated the same thing to us. Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, The Jews are not jealous of you for anything the way they envy you for the Salam and the Ameen. Chapter on As Salam Salam is one of the names of Allah the Mighty and Majestic. Anas said, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, As Salam, peace is one of the names of Allah the Almighty which He has placed in the earth. Therefore spread the Salam greeting amongst yourselves. Ibn Masood said, They were praying behind the Prophet peace be upon him and someone said, As Salam, peace be upon Allah. When the Prophet peace be upon him finished his prayer, he said, Who said, As Salam be upon Allah? Allah is As Salam. Say, Greetings belong to Allah and prayer and the good. Peace be upon you, O Prophet, and the mercy of Allah and His blessings. Peace be upon us and upon the right-acting slaves of Allah. I testify that there is no God but Allah, and I testify that Muhammad is his slave and messenger. Ibn Masood said they used to learn that as one of you learns a surah from the Qur'an. Chapter on It is a duty for one Muslim to greet another Muslim when he meets him. Abu Hurairah said, The Prophet peace be upon him said, The Muslim owes another Muslim five things. He was asked, What are they? He said, When you meet him, you should greet him. When he gives you an invitation, you should accept. When he asks you for advice, you should give him good counsel. When he sneezes and praises Allah, you should pray for mercy on him. When he is ill, you should visit him. When he dies, you should accompany him. Footnote, you should accompany him means attend his funeral. Chapter on the person walking greets the person sitting down. Abdurrahman bin Shibal said, I heard the Prophet peace be upon him say, the person riding should greet the person on foot. The person on foot should greet the person who is seated. The smaller group should greet the larger. Whoever answers the greeting, it is for him. Whoever does not answer it, has nothing. Abu Huraira said, the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, The person riding greets the person walking. The person walking greets the person sitting. The small group greets the large group. Jabir said, When two people walking meet, then the one who gives the greeting first is the better of the two. Chapter on The person riding greets the person sitting. It is reported from Sayyidina Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Salam is offered by one who is riding to one who is walking, by one who is walking to one who is sitting, and by a fewer number to a larger number. It is narrated by Sayyidina Fadala, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The horse rider will offer salam to one who is sitting, and a fewer number will salute a larger number of people. Chapter on May the person walking greet the person riding. Hussain said, A Shabi met a man riding a horse and gave the greeting first. I asked, Did you give the man riding the greeting first? A Shabi replied, I saw Shura walking and he gave the greeting first. Chapter on This small group greets the large group. Fadala bin Ubad said, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The person riding greets the person walking. The person walking greets the person sitting. The small group greets the large group. It is narrated by Sayyidina Fadala, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Salam is offered by the horse rider to one who is walking, by he who is walking to one who is sitting, and by a fewer number to a larger number. Chapter on The Young Person Greets the Old it is reported by Sayyidina Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said that the one who is riding should salute one who is walking and one who is walking should salute the person who is sitting and a smaller group must salute a larger group. Abu Huraira said the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said the young person greets the old person and the person walking greets the person sitting and the small group greets the large group. Chapter on the end of the greeting Abu Zinad said, Khadijah bin Zad bin Thabit used to write on the letter of Zad when he wrote the Salam, Peace be upon you, Amir al-Mu'mineen, and the mercy of Allah and his blessings and his forgiveness and the best of his blessings. Chapter on the person who greets by a gesture. Abu Qurra al-Khurasani said, I saw Anas pass by us and he indicated to us with his hand that he was giving the greeting. He had white spots, and I saw Al-Hassan using yellow dye and wearing a black turban. 
and Asma said the Prophet peace be upon him waved his hand to indicate the greeting to the women. Saad said, I went out with Abdullah bin Umar and Al-Qasim bin Muhammad until they stopped at Sarif and Abdullah bin Az-Zubair passed by and made a gesture of greeting to them and they answered his greeting. Atta ibn Abi Rabah said, they used to dislike the greeting made with the hand or he said the greeting with the hand was disliked. Chapter on Make it heard when you greet. Thabit bin Obad said, I came to a group which included Abdullah bin Umar who said, When you greet, make it clearly audible for it is a greeting from Allah containing goodness and blessing. Chapter on One who goes out to greet and is himself greeted. Atufal bin Obad bin Kaab said, He used to visit Abdullah bin Umar and would go with him to the market. He, Atufal said, when we went to the market, Abdullah bin Umar did not pass by any junk site nor merchant nor poor person nor anyone else without greeting them. At-Tufal said, I visited Abdullah bin Umar one day and he asked me to follow him to the market. I said, what is the point of your going to the market? You do not engage in selling nor ask about goods nor bargain for them nor sit in any of the groups in the market. Let us sit here and talk. Abdullah said to me, you with the belly. At-Tufal had a large belly. We go out only for the sake of the greeting we give to those we meet. Chapter on the greeting when someone comes to an assembly. Abu Huraira said, the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, when one of you comes to an assembly, he should give the greeting. If he leaves, he should give the greeting. Neither greeting is more deserving than the other. Chapter on the greeting when someone gets up from an assembly. Abu Huraira said, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, When a man comes to an assembly, he should give the greeting. When he sits down and then thinks that he should leave before the assembly has broken up, he should give the greeting. Neither greeting is more deserving than the other. Chapter on the duty of someone who gives the greeting when he stands up. Muawiyah bin Qurra said, My father said to me, If you sit in a gathering expecting good to come from it, but something occurs which makes you leave, say, Peace be upon you, and you will share in any reward they obtain in that assembly. There are no people who sit in an assembly and then disperse without Allah having been mentioned, but that it is as if they were leaving the corpse of a donkey. Abu Huraira said, Whoever meets his brother should greet him. If a tree or a wall comes between them and then he meets him, he should greet him again. Anas bin Malik said the companions of the Prophet peace be upon him used to walk together and while walking they would come across a tree ahead and so a group of them would go to the right and a group to its left. When they met again, they would greet each other. Chapter on the person who perfumes his hand for the handshake. Thabit al-Banani said in the morning Anas used to oil his hand with scented oil in preparation for shaking the hands of his brothers, fellow Muslims. Chapter on Greeting Those You Know and Those You Do Not Know Abdullah bin Amr said, A man asked Messenger of Allah, What Islam is the best of Islam? He said, Feeding people and giving the greeting to those you know and those you do not know. Chapter on To Sit in Front of the House or on the Road and the Necessary Conduct Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, forbade people to sit in front of the house and on the road. The Muslim said, we will not be able to avoid it. We cannot undertake that. He said, if not, then give it its due. They said, what is its due? He said, lower the eyes and guide the traveler and wish for mercy on someone who sneezes and praises Allah and return the greeting. Abu Huraira said, the most miserly of people is the person who is miserly with a greeting. The loser is the one who does not return it. If a tree comes between you and your brother and you are able to be the first to initiate the greeting before the other does, then do so. Salim, the Mawla of Abdullah bin Amr said, When Ibn Amr was greeted, he returned the greeting and added to it. I came upon him while he was seated and I said, Peace be upon you. And he responded, Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah. Then I came upon him another time and said, Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah. And he replied, Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and his blessings. Then I came upon him another time and said, Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and his blessings. And he responded, Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and his blessings and the best of his prayers. Chapter on One Should Not Greet a Person Who Leads a Sinful Life Abdullah bin Amr bin al-As said, Do not greet anyone who drinks wine. 
Al Hassan said there should be no sense of respect between you and a person who has left the correct path. Abu Razak said, I heard Ali bin Abdullah bin Al Abbas expressing his dislike for chess and saying, Do not greet the one who plays it, it is a kind of gambling. Chapter on not greeting the person wearing khaluk, perfume, and those who openly commit offenses. Ali bin Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, walked past some people amongst whom was a man who used khaluk perfume. He looked at them and greeted them but turned away from that man. That man said, Have you turned away from me? He said, There is the color of flame between your eyes. Footnote, khaluk perfume, colored perfume used exclusively by women. Abdullah bin Amr bin Al-As said, A man came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, with a gold signet ring on his hand. The Prophet, peace be upon him, turned away from him. When the man saw the Prophet's dislike of the gold, he threw the ring away. He made a ring out of iron and wore that. He came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, who said, This is worse. This is the ornament of the people of the fire. The man went away, threw it away, and put on a silver ring, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, did not say anything about it. Abu Sa'id said, A man came from Al-Bahrain to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and greeted him, but the Prophet did not answer him. The man was wearing a gold ring and a silk robe. The man went away in sorrow. He complained to his wife and she said, Perhaps the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, objects to your robe and your ring. Throw them away and then go back. He did that and then the Prophet returned his greeting. He said, I came to you earlier and you turned away from me. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, You had a coal of the fire on your hand. He said, I came then with many coals. He meant that he came from Bahrain wearing many ornaments. The Prophet said, Gold that you have come with is not more valuable than the stones of Harra at Medina, but it is the enjoyment of the life of this world. He said, What should I make a ring from? He said, From silver or brass or iron, interpreted as meaning iron plated with silver. Footnote, in Musnad Ahmed, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, What you came with is not of help but as the stones of Harra. He meant that gold is a coal of fire to a man who gives it more value than the stone of Harra and uses it as an ornament and adorns himself with it, but for the one who does not give it much worth and carries out his worldly needs, it will not be as a coal of fire. Footnote, there are areas of volcanic lava in the eastern and western parts of Medina known as Harra Sharkiya and Harra Garbiya. Chapter on Greeting the Amir Ibn Shahab said, Omar bin Abdul Aziz asked Abu Bakr bin Suleiman bin Abi Hathma, Why did Abu Bakr used to write, From Abu Bakr the Khalifa of the Messenger of Allah, and then Omar wrote after him, From Omar bin Al-Khattab the Khalifa of Abu Bakr? Who was the first to write using the title, Amir al muminin Leader of the Faithful? He said, My grandmother, Ash-Shifa, related this to me, and she was one of the first Muhajir women. And when Omar bin al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, entered the market, he visited her. She said, Omar bin al-Khattab wrote to the governor of Kufa and Basra, requesting him to send him two trustworthy noblemen so that he could question them about Iraq and its people. The governor of Kufa and Basra sent Labid bin Rabi'ah and also Adi bin Hatim, and they came to Medina. They set their animals to kneel in the courtyard of the mosque, and then they entered and found Amr bin al-As. They said to him, Amr, ask for permission for us to come in to the Amir al-Mu'minin, Omar. Amr got up quickly and went to Omar. He said, Peace be upon you, Amir al-Mu'minin. Omar said to him, Ibn al-As, what made you say this name? You must give me an explanation why you said it. He said, Yes, Labid bin Rabia and Adi bin Hatim came and said to me, Ask permission for us to come in to the Amir al-Mu'minin. I said, You too, by Allah, have found the correct name. He is the Amir, and we are the believers. The title Amir al-Mu'minin came into practice from that day. Ubaidullah bin Abdullah said, Muawiyah came from Syria on his first Hajj after he became Khalifa. Uthman bin Hunaf al-Ansari came to him and said, Peace be upon you, Amir, and the mercy of Allah. The people of Syria objected to that and said, Who is this hypocrite who shortens the greeting of the Amir al-Mu'minin? Uthman knelt down and said, Amir al-Mu'minin, these men have taken objection to me for something that you know better than them. By Allah, I used this greeting for Abu Bakr, Umar and Uthman and none of them objected to it. Muawiyah said to those who had spoken among the people of Syria, Be calm, it was partly as he said. 
But when these trials occurred, he met the confusion between Muslims which led to the civil war between them. The people of Syria said, Do not shorten the greeting of our Khalifa in our presence. People of Medina, I think you call the collector of zakah Amir. Jabir said, I visited Al-Hajjaj and did not greet him. Tamim bin Hadlam said, I remember the first person to be greeted as Amir in Kufa. Al-Mughira bin Shubha left by the Ar-Rahba gate and a man from Kinda came up to him and they say that this was Abu Qurra al-Kindi who greeted Al-Mughira saying, Peace be upon you, O Amir, and the mercy of Allah. Peace be upon you all. He disliked it and the man said, repeating the man's words, Peace be upon you, O Amir, and the mercy of Allah. Peace be upon you all. Am I one of them or not? Simak said, Afterwards he accepted it. Ziad bin Obad al-Ru'aini said, We went to Ruwefi, who was the Amir of Antabulus, a town between Alexandria and Barqa. A man came and greeted him, saying, Peace be upon the Amir. From Abda he said, Peace be upon you, Amir. Ruwefi said to him, If you had greeted us, we would have returned the greeting, but you greeted Maslama bin Makhalad. Maslama was Amir of the whole of Egypt. Go to him and he will return your greeting. Ziyad said, Afterwards, whenever we came in and found Ruwefi in the assembly, we would say, Peace be upon you. Chapter on Greeting the Sleeper al Mikdad bin Al-Aswad said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to come at night and would give the greeting in such a way that it would not awaken anyone asleep, but the person who was awake would hear it. Chapter on Hayaka Allah min Marifa May Allah give you long life. Omar said to Adi bin Hatim, Hayaka Allah min Marifa May Allah give you long life. Chapter on Marhaban Welcome. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, Fatima came walking in the same way that the Prophet, peace be upon him, walked. He said to her, Marhaban bi ibnati, welcome my daughter. Then he had her sit down on his right or his left. Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Ahmad asked for permission to come in to the Prophet, peace be upon him. The Prophet recognized his voice and said, Welcome to a man who is good and pure. Chapter on How to Return the Greeting Abdullah bin Amr said during a journey between Mecca and Medina while we were sitting with the Prophet peace be upon him in the shade of a tree, a Bedouin who was an example of the coarsest and fiercest kind of people came up and said, Peace be upon you, and they said, And upon you. Abu Jamrah said, I heard Ibn Abbas say when he was greeted, And upon you and the mercy of Allah. Abu Abdullah said, And Kaila said, A man said, Peace be upon you, Messenger of Allah. He said, And peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah. Abu Dhar said, I came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, when he had finished his prayer. I was the first person who greeted him with the greeting of Islam. He said, And on you and the mercy of Allah, from where have you come? I said, From Ghifar. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Aish, this is Jibril who sends you greetings. She said, I said, And peace be upon him, and the mercy of Allah and his blessings. You see what I do not see. She referred to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. Muawiyah bin Qurra said, My father said to me, My son, when a man passes by you and says, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, plural, do not say, Wa alayka salam, and on you, singular, as if you were singling that greeting out for him alone. Rather say, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, plural. Chapter on One Who Does Not Return the Greeting Abdullah bin As-Samit said, I said to Abu Dhar, I passed by Abdurrahman bin Umm al-Hakam and I greeted him and he did not answer me at all. He said, Nephew, what harm have you suffered from that? Someone better than him answered you, the angel on his right. Abdullah said, Salam, peace is one of the names of Allah which Allah has placed on the earth, extended among you. When a man greets people and they answer him, then he has a higher degree than them because he reminds them of peace. If no one answers him, he will be answered by one who is better and more excellent. Al-Hasan said, Greeting is tatawu, a voluntary act, while the answer is farida, a duty. Chapter on One Who Is Miserly With The Greeting Abdullah bin Amr bin Al-As said, A great liar is someone who lies in his oath. A miser is someone who is miserly with the greeting. A great thief is someone who steals the prayer, does not pray properly. Abu Huraira said, The most miserly of people is the one who is miserly with the greeting. The most incapable of people is the one who is incapable of supplication.
Chapter on the Greeting to Children Thabit al-Bunani said, Anas bin Malik walked past some children and greeted them. Then he said the Prophet peace be upon him used to do that with them, that is, greet children. Anbasa said, I saw Ibn Umar greet children in the schools. Chapter on Women Greeting Men Umehani bint Abi Talib said, I went to the Prophet peace be upon him while he was taking a bath. I greeted him and he asked, Who is this? I said, Umehani. He said, Marhaban, welcome. Al Hassan said, Women used to greet the men. Chapter on Greeting Women Shahar said, I heard Asma say that the Prophet, peace be upon him, passed by a group of women sitting down in the mosque. He greeted them by a gesture of his hand. He said, Beware of the ingratitude of those who have known blessings. Beware of the ingratitude of those who have known blessings. One of them said, We seek refuge with Allah, O Prophet of Allah, from ingratitude for the blessings of Allah. He said, Yes, one of you women might have been without a husband for a long time, and then Allah provides her with one. And then when she becomes angry at him, she says to him, By Allah, I have never known an hour of good from you. That is ingratitude for the blessings of Allah. That is the ingratitude of those who have known blessings. Asma, daughter of Yazid al ansariya said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, passed by me while I was with some young girls of my age. He greeted us and said, Beware of the ingratitude of those who have known blessings. I was the boldest of them in coming forward to question him and I said, Messenger of Allah, what is the ingratitude of those who have known blessings? He said, Perhaps one of you will remain with her parents unmarried for a long time and then Allah provides her with a husband and provides her with children from him and then when she gets angry she becomes ungrateful and says, I have never known any good at all from you. Chapter on One Who Dislikes to Greet a Particular Person in a Group Tariq said we were sitting with Abdullah when his servant came and said, The ikama for the prayer has been given. He got up and we got up with him and went to the mosque. He saw people praying and were in ruku at the front of the mosque. He joined them saying the takbir and bowed and we did as he did. Then a man rushed past and said, Peace be upon you, Abu Abdurrahman. He, Abdullah said, Allah has spoken the truth and his messenger has conveyed the message. When we had prayed, he returned and went into his house. We remained sitting in our places, waiting for him until he came out. We said to each other, Which of us will ask him? Tariq said, I will ask him, and he did so. Abdullah replied, reporting from the Prophet, peace be upon him, that he said, Before the hour, people will single out one individual for the greeting. Commerce will grow until a woman helps her husband in business. People will cut off links with their relatives. Knowledge will spread. False testimony will appear and true testimony will be concealed. Abdullah bin Amr said a man asked the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him which is best of Islam. He said, feeding people and giving the greeting to those you know and those you do not know.